Hello, hello, hello. I'm Nikki from MyFavorites.com. This is going to be part three on how I sublimate the gloves and the cap. I was going to actually do a template to put inside the gloves, but I just thought about it. I've already made the, printed out the image without having that. Because once you do a template and you put it inside the glove, it's going to stretch that glove out. And I just did make this template to match the size of the glove. So I'm not going to do that on this video. It really don't need it. But when you go to put the gloves on, sometimes you can see where when you stretch it out, the colors start kind of fading. So that's why I wanted to do the template for the glove. But I did not make this template here large enough to accommodate the stretching of the glove. So we're going to bypass that one for now until we actually find that it's a need to do it. Right now, it's okay. You don't really need to do it, but it just depends on what you like and what you want to do because it can be done. So what I'm going to do right now is I have my image here. And basically, if you have not seen part two, Go back and check out part two on how I actually designed the gloves. So LH is left hand, RH is right hand, outside, left hand outside, right hand inside. So I'm going to start off with my left hand. So basically I'm just going to cut the image away. I'm not, not going to do no trimming going all the way, way around and none of that. It's not necessary. But what I am going to do is take off this left hand inside. And that's left hand. No, I'm gonna, I don't want to do left hand. I'm going to start off with a left hand outside. So I'm going to start off with this one. Left hand outside. Just cut around that. And now that I know that this is left hand outside, I'm just going to take that out because I don't want any extra ain't bleeding nowhere all right once i got that left hand outside i am going to lint roll this glove and while i'm at it let's just go ahead to the press so i can lint roll press to get my adjustment we're going to do heavy pressure 400 at 60 uh seconds all right so let's go all right so we're over here at the heat press and I am getting ready to let roll my glove. This is going to be for the left hand. So I need to flip it that way. Yeah. No, I need to. I'm doing right. Let roll that side. I'm going to press it. So pressing is very important because you see how it's kind of strungy looking. But once we press it, I'm at good pressure. And you see that I actually locked it down. And press it for about five seconds. And I'm gonna show you how that pressing did. Right up here, I see like a, so I see right up in here. All right, you see, that's where the stretching of, that's where that template would come in at too. For the hands, because you can see like there's a little indent right there. And if we don't get that, it's gonna be white. With the stretching of that glove, it'll, it'll cover that. Let's go back to the table because I'm gonna have to do a template. All right, so I'm gonna make a, try to make it as close as possible to this glove. Because as you can tell, I just am fitting in between there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just start off with one side. And I'm gonna make it as close as possible to this glove with just a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, so that's my glove. 
So I'm just gonna go a little bit outside of this area. I am using some Westcott titanium scissors. And I wanna pre-warn you that if you try to use some Dollar Tree scissors cutting this board, you're gonna be in a rude awakening. The original board that I did, the first one on was 22 point, which is this board, which is like a round board. And then I did it out of 22 point chip board. It was not sturdy enough. Um, it started breaking when I start forcing the, the glove inside. So let's see what this does, what this do. Uh -oh. And then let me look to kind of see if I'm still, yeah, I'm gonna have to get real close. And then I'm gonna just cut some slits here for the fingers. And let's see where we at. All right, so we still, we're still in there. Just a tad bit. Boy, we have really no room for error, especially on the ends. Let me see if I can just trim this a little smaller. And I really don't want it too size because you still want to get that stretch. Now let's put the um, glove inside, the template inside the glove. My fingers are all intact. And then you see it stretches that out. And this is what you'll do for any template. If you have, if you have like pleats or creases, you may want to use like a board to stretch those pleats or creases out. So in this video, I think I'm going to show you how it's going to look with the board and without. Okay, so let's give this a fair fighting chance to see which one you would like better. So this is going to be with the board and we're going to do the left, left hand with this one. So let's go back to the press. All right, so I'm going to, since this is the left hand, I'm gonna let roll that again. I do see some little scribbly. I'm gonna cut that out. Make sure if you see any like pulling of the string or anything, you don't wanna um, sub on that. Just go ahead and kind of trim it out. I am gonna spray this with the uh, temporary bond adhesive. All right, I'm still within that glove area. I think I'm going to be good, y'all. I think I need to come up just a tad bit. All right, so I have it stuck on there. Doing, us, uh, do it, doing it directly under the heat press will deactivate that glue, y'all. So just be aware that you spray it. It's like, oh, this thing ain't sticking. It's because if you're under the heat press, that um, is a temporary bond, so it will, that heat will deactivate that glue. I'm gonna put it here. See how it's good and stuck, but as soon as that heat press touch it, just bring that up a little bit i am kind of missing that outside a little bit so i know i'm going to have some white there 
So I am expecting the sides not to be sucked because I did not create the template with having a template inside. All right, 400 degrees, 60 seconds, heavy pressure. Alrighty. Next time I'm gonna do it like this. So I don't all my paper. Alright, so y'all ready to see what it looks like? Look at there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all. It is hot. But look. Look how beautiful that is. I just want y'all to know that my gloves, Living Life Broke, they're going to be on sale on my website. So, y'all check out them. that website. Support your girl. Get your Living Life Broke gloves. Yeah, I love. Look at those colors. Y'all see those colors? Oh, my goodness. Who designed that? Oh, that person. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So... Let's do the inside. Let's get this right here and hurry up because the heat is deactivating the glue already. 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Oh, yes. Look at there. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to the, the right hand without the template. All right. So right now I'm getting ready to show you the difference in the size. So I designed the glove. This, I designed this template without the cardboard inside. So you see how it fits within it. And then how when you use a board inside, how it stretches out even more. So if you need to adjust your template, if you're going to put a board, do so. Because the template is not um, was not designed for a um, board inside. So you would have to just adjust it accordingly. And in part two, I did show you how to um, make a template. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's see what we have. All right, all right, all right. It's the, it looks just as good. It looks just as good. It looks and feels hot. <laughs> all right, so it's going to be totally up to you if you want to use the board or not inside the glove. But we'll see what the difference is once we get, get both sides. So, All right, so that is the right hand inside. Uh, did I just do that backwards? Yeah. Right hand inside. And there you have it. That's how much we have left over from that template. So you just adjust, you know, your template wisely to where it fits your needs. But just look at it. Ooh, that's hot. All right, let me go over to the table. Now, let's do comparison with the um, difference with using the template and without the template. All right. All right, y'all. So, I'm getting ready to show you the difference 
with the between not using a template a chipboard template inside the glove and without so this is going to be the right hand without and let me see let me let me let you just zoom in a little closer so you can see so this is without the template so you see how when i stretch it let me before i do that so you see how it looks now all right turn it on that side but when i put my hands in and i'm just going to see if it's a difference between the two once you put your hands in it stretches the color out and these are the size large gloves okay and then now i see that the image is white you can see where it might have been a crease because that didn't sub that didn't sub there and i don't think that's part of the design no so this is without the template inside Now I'm getting ready to get the one that has the template inside. Okay, and this is with the template inside. I don't have any I don't have any white spots. Let me put this one on now like I did without the template. They both, when you stretch them, you'll do see a little white, but um, hey, that's expected. But when it, with the template in, this without, you can do, the, the one with the, that had the template, you can see less white. Just the one that didn't have the template. This the one that did have the template. You can see less white with the one that had the template. Can you see it? Template, no template. All right, so it's basically up to you. If you're doing a dark design like I did, I would probably suggest using a template. Um, But if you're using a lighter design, um, it won't be that noticeable, but for sure with darker colors, you can kind of tell, but not that bad. So the pros and cons about using the template, it gives it more color because you're able to stretch it out a little wider, giving it, um, more sub, like subbing on it a little more. Um, it also would eliminate if you have any pleats or creases within a glove it will stretch that out to prevent uh, creases from not um, subbing. Okay. I hope this video helped. I am Nikki from MightyFavors.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Coming up next is how I'm going to do the hat. And I, with that said and done, I don't know if I'm going to make a template. I'm probably going to wind up making a template for the hat as well. I can probably use this board because it's not going to be as strenuous as the gloves. The gloves, you're going to need at least 45, 50 pound chipboard. Don't get that 22 chipboard. It's going to break up on you. The round board is like 22 point. The round board is not going to work either. So 45, at least 45 points when doing the gloves, okay? 45 point chipboard. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss this video I'm about to do coming up next on how I'm gonna do the cap. All right, to the next one.